Hey everyone, welcome to Metal Guns. Out here on the range this morning. And yeah, it's a little cool out as you can tell. Uh, the weather's dropped here a little bit, but I ain't complaining. It is very, very nice. And we have a really, really cool pistol to shoot today. Check this thing out. This is the CVA Scout. This thing is chambered in 300 blackout. Yeah, man. Is that a setup or what? This is on loan to me from my buddy Hootie Who. And he also threw me some ammo so I could come out here and have a little bit of plinking fun today. He's got this crim Crimson Trace Brushline Pro pistol scope on this thing. I don't know if I can get it where y'all can see it or not. And they come out further, 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 further. Yeah, there you go. You get a general idea of the scope there. Yeah, I can quit moving. Surprising I hit anything as much as I move around. Uh, this is a really cool single shot pistol. And yeah, it is threaded for whatever you want to do with that business. Hammer fired. The safety is right back here. And to open it, you just pull the bottom of the trigger guard. Like so. And she is open. That thing is cool. Uh, grip feels pretty good. Little forearm feels pretty good. I reckon you uh, supposedly shoot this thing. You got to get out about right here to see that scope good. Good looking scope. Yeah, nice and clear. But we're going to give this thing a shot and see what we think about it. We've got some of this uh, Liberty Overwatch. 2,500 feet per second. Uh, yeah. This, uh, which I'll get the particulars on the box there. That stuff is definitely no joke. Let me show you what one of them looks like. That is it. Yeah, that's one wicked looking bullet. wonder what that's going to do to shaving cream. Uh, we're definitely going to find that out. I'm going to go out here and shoot some targets. Now we're going to stretch on out here with the 300 blackout. We're not going to shoot any of the 10 or the 20 yarders. We're going to go out there to like the 45 and the 55 yard and shoot them. We're not going to shoot a terrible amount of rounds. Just enough to have a little fun. And some of y'all may remember this little portable tripod that I have. Well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this little bad boy out. Get it set up. It's just super simple. Tighten this to hold that bottom one. And stuff like this with these pistols. Looks like this pistol here is heavy. It is very heavy. It's very front heavy. So I can lay that bad boy in there just like that. And I am everywhere that I need to be with it. Yeah, cool, cool setup. Well, let's uh get around in it. See, we think about this thing. I do want to try just basic one-handed shooting too. Have to try that. But I think our first target's going to be our 45-yard silhouette up there. All right, got my ears on, got my eyes on. I have one in the chamber. Let's just see uh, what we think about this little thing. Hammer back. Let's see what kind of trigger we got to deal with. Like I say, we'll go for that uh, 45 yard silhouette to begin with. Let's see what we can do with her. Wow. Shot low. Let me tell y'all something. That trigger is very, very touchy. That's why I shot low. All right, let's try that again. That's why it's always good to keep everything pointed in the right direction, away from everybody and everything. So, don't even look at the trigger until you're ready to fire, guys. I think that's a trick on this thing. Now, let's get her sighted and try a shot. Oh, yeah. No problem whatsoever. Well, 
That answers the question, is the trigger any good? Yes, the trigger is fantastic. And that scope seems to be on the money, if I can hold it still. Let's go up there. I know the weed's got it partially covered, but I think I can hit it at 55 yard silhouette. This thing's cool. I definitely need to do a range clean. Yeah, that one's on me. I just got to get time to get out here and do it. We should be able to tap that bad boy. Yes, sir, we did. That thing... That's just a whole lot of fun, especially 300 blackout. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, before we go uh, hunting as a shaving cream, we got a one-hander just one time. Why? Well, just because we have to. I missed the target, but... Got a little bit of the shakes going on there. Because it is front heavy. But the recoil now, no big deal on this whatsoever. You can shoot that thing all day long. It's not going to hurt your hand, wrist, or bother you anything like that. Like I say, just it's really front heavy, so get that wrist where it's prepared to hold it still. But it shoots good. Trigger's fantastic. Seems to be accurate. I stretch out there to 55 yards. Wish I had some further targets. Y'all look for that in the future. Uh, Hootie Hoo and I have some plans to put some of them new Cogwell targets out there at maybe 60, 65 yards. We'll get a little bit of a longer stretch for some of these pistols. But, question still remains. Will it kill the shaving cream that we have sitting at 10 yards? Well, if I can hold it still, then I think it might have a good chance hitting that shaving cream. Alright. Alright, shaving cream, you hold still. That's probably the problem. They ain't me as the target's moving. only 10 yards away. I'm not sure where scope sighted in. Let me walk up there right quick. Definitely shot a little low, I believe. Try it again. Yeah, I think I've seen a uh, new chunk out of that 2x6, which at this rate is not going to last much longer. All right, let me uh, bring that aim up just a little bit and see if we can hit this thing. Oh, we hit it. And we hit it good. Well, guys, there you have it. Like I say, I'm not going to shoot the crap out of uh, Hootie Hoo's expensive ammo. Because I don't know what that stuff costs. Yes, we were definitely clear. But as far as the uh, fun factor goes, this is way up there. I wouldn't mind having a little jewel like this to plink around with. That is pretty cool, especially with that scope on there. That, uh, yeah, a lot of fun to shoot. 
Made in Spain by Dicar, D-I-K-A-R. Hmm, didn't know that. Hmm, good to know, good to know. Give y'all another quick look at this bad boy. Yeah, man. And actually, it's a good looking little pistol too. It ain't got no ugly to it. I mean, it looks cool. Shoots great, she's accurate. Trigger's fantastic. And the recoil is nothing to worry about. So what more could you ask for in a fun shooting little range flanker like that? Well, everyone, I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all know I did. That thing is a blast to shoot. No pun intended. Uh, if you would, throw us down some comments. If you're able, hit us up on Patreon and order Super Thanks. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it much. Till the next one, we hope that everyone has a fantastic day.